I'm getting so tired of this. You have to let me save you sometime or else I'll never be able to pay you back. Oh, there'll be plenty of time for you to pay all of us on the way back to Neverwinter. You all put me in danger. I'm not paying you a single coin. Oh, then you'll be paying me another way. My bedroll's a little cold at night. I'm thinking you can fix that. Maybe you'd best shut your mouth, Ranger. Your words are starting to anger me. Oh, really? What a surprise. How'd you like it if I left you here in Luskin territory with your righteousness to keep you company? Jealousy's thick in this little band, I see. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten your pretty face, fair leader. What's better than a woman with a piece of cold iron for a heart? Or is it in addition to... I won't have you speaking to her or anyone else that way, Bishop. Oh, really? What a surprise. How'd you like it if I left you here in Luskin territory with your righteousness to keep you company? Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you've all returned, and in one piece, no less. Look, I... I don't know why you're asking again. Surely you've heard this before. You were just a babe when West Harbor was attacked near the end of the war with the King of Shadows. You suffered that wound from a stray arrow or debris. Inside the wound on your chest. That means you've been carrying around the shard almost your entire life. I, we had no idea. Ah, notice the stumble in his words. Your uncle has been keeping secrets, I think. Silence, Bishop. I don't know if I'm the best one to be telling you this, but if you've got one of those shards in you, I think you've earned the right to hear everything. Dagon probably already told you, but when you were an infant, West Harbor was the site of a battle, a terrible battle. The King of Shadows himself led an army of demons against the Neverwinter army, which had gathered at the village. West Harbor was struck suddenly without warning. There was panic, confusion, villagers fleeing every which way to escape the battle. But Dagon's wife Shayla and your mother Esmeril did not. They stayed behind to save you. As demons and mage fire rained upon the village, they fought to reach your crib. By the time Dagon even realized they were missing, it was too late. He could only watch from a distance as the village was consumed in the battle. It wasn't my decision to keep what happened to your mother from you. And my brother would be furious, I told you. I guess he... he thought it would be too much for you. In any case, when the few that remained returned to the village, no one was alive. Except you. Your mother was there. So much blood and you were clutched in her bosom. A deep wound in your chest. She tried to shield you, but the shard must have cut through her and into you. No one knew how you survived, but you did, and your wound sealed itself within days, leaving the scar that you still bear. But if that wound was due to the shard that pierced you, then that raises many questions, and I'm afraid I'm just all out of answers. It's been with me for a long, 